welcome back to the vlog. I'm so looking forward to vlogging over the next couple of days or so. It was so weird this morning because I'm not used to having all the Christmas stuff up because I decorated yesterday and that is in a whole different video if you wanna watch it. And I wanted to get it up early. And so it's currently November 9th and it does feel a little odd having all this stuff up so soon, but it definitely is a mood boost. I'm definitely gonna be more into the spirit next week, I feel like, as it gets closer to Thanksgiving. But it's Wednesday today and I just did a nice morning routine. And something that I did was actually run four miles. Typically when I run, I try to do three, but coming up on Thanksgiving here soon, we're actually doing our first turkey trot race and it's four miles and it's gonna be in Vermont and there are gonna be a lot of hills. And so I'm trying to kind of work up to potentially doing five miles. So I'm used to it by the time we do four. And four isn't that different than three, but it always just feels a little bit harder and so felt nice having a solid run and for the rest of the day i'm going to do a big grocery shop we basically have no food so i need to do a full grocery shop of getting especially a bunch of produce i feel like we are just totally out of produce so i'm going to do that i need to get some work done on editing and i thought i could actually kind of share my editing process things that i like to use including my music programs i always get questions not always but sometimes i'll get questions about that stuff and i've never really talked about it in depth so i might do that too in this video make a good dinner tonight and just have a nice productive wednesday but we're gonna go ahead and start with the groceries so let's get going for today's outfit i'm wearing this kind of sweater vest it's from target i like it but i just don't like how far it goes down on the side so i always try to wear like a bralette or something i'm not sure if they'll still have this i got this last year but it's nice for texas because it's gonna be 80 degrees today so Definitely one of my arms out. And then I'm also just wearing my favorite Abercrombie Relax jeans. And I've shared these before, but I love the fit of these. They're definitely more loose. I'm wearing, I believe it's a 26. I like how they're not straight, but they're not skinny. They're just a nice, comfortable jean. I was picking up a decaf coffee on the road and I went through Starbucks. And when I went through Starbucks, the girl was like, oh my gosh, your hair is so beautiful. It was so nice because I was actually about to disclaim when I was doing that intro that I didn't really like how my hair turned out because I curled it differently today. It's a little funky for me, but that was so nice. There's just something about when a stranger compliments you, it just makes me feel so warm inside and also inspires me to do that more for other people. And so I just want to put that in there because that definitely made my day. It was so sweet. Back now from the grocery store, I'm gonna share our haul because we got a lot of stuff and a lot of things that I'm excited about too. Picked up some lettuce for salad, got some Greek yogurt. I pretty much always like to have Greek yogurt because I will use it for cooking, but also for my yogurt bowls. Some cheese slices, got a bunch of honey crisp apples, cucumber for salads. We're gonna do a steak night, so I just got these crinkle cut sweet potato fries. These are definitely our favorites. And then for my yogurt bowls, I always like to do frozen berries. I'll put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds and then top it with these. So I just got some blueberries and cherries. Got some steak and chicken for recipes. We needed some more eggs, so I just picked up those. And then these I'm so excited for. I've never had whole food soup before, but I always like having soup for lunches. So I just picked up some veggie soup and then this one is chicken tortilla soup, which is definitely my favorite soup. So I'm probably gonna eat one of those for lunch today. Got a couple of kombuchas. This one is the fall edition one. I love this one. This one's definitely a favorite. And then I never had this one, but it's pomegranate power. It looked good. And then I also grabbed a couple of Olipops, which I also really like these just as sponge drinks. I got ginger lemon and strawberry vanilla. This one's probably my favorite. This milk almond milk is my favorite because it just has filtered water, almonds, and pink sea salt, like Himalayan sea salt. And so it's really nice and doesn't have a ton of ingredients because it's crazy with the plant-based milk. Sometimes they just throw in some crazy stuff in there. So I like that that one's pretty natural. A few Siggy's yogurt, which are also my favorite yogurts. Our favorite hummus is this Ithaca hummus. This one is lemon garlic hummus and the ingredients on here are also pretty good. It still has sunflower oil in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, but besides that, everything's pretty good in there. And then some cheese cubes. And then I have our last bag here. I went ahead and picked up some sourdough bread. I would like to make some this week, but 
I wanted to have bread in the meantime, so that's like a three day process. So I like the Whole Foods bread too, because they'll slice it for you, which is always great. Got some bananas because I want to make banana bread and I've never actually tried to ripen bananas without letting them sit. I'm going to try to do that today because I want to make it today. We'll attempt that later. Got an array of these beef sticks, which are also great for getting some protein in. Our favorite cookies are these brown butter Whole Foods cookies. They're so good. So I picked up a couple of those. Picked up almond butter because we ran out. And this one I also like because it's just dry roasted almonds. I always try to get almond butters that don't have a bunch of stuff in it. Some coconut milk. So I'm gonna make coconut rice tonight. Also picked up coconut oil because when I bake, I like to use coconut oil instead of butters and those kinds of things. So grape jelly because the banana bread I'm gonna make, it came up on my Instagram reels. It's like peanut butter and jelly banana bread. It looked so good though. So we're gonna try that later. A few avocados and then a couple of sauces for recipes. So that is everything. I'm gonna put all this away because there's a lot and then get started on some work stuff. I was actually just mapping out some Christmas gifts because I don't know about you guys, but I wish I was the person who bought all of my presents in October, was set for December so I could just enjoy the season, but I am not. And so in my family, we actually do a gift exchange. So we each have one person, which is nice because my family is huge. And so I'm trying to figure out what to get my brother-in-law, Ben. It's not a secret, so I can say. But I wanted to mention if you guys are also making your Christmas list, a really great gift idea is a case to five phone case. And I'm actually working with them on today's video. I'm so thankful to be partnering with them like always. And I also wanted to mention them now because they are running a Cyber Monday sale and a Black Friday sale soon. And of course you can always use my code if you go to case Casefy.com slash Michelle Reed, you can get 15% off a new phone case. That is always active, but they're also doing a sale coming up. In a recent video, I shared that I switched my phone case to this one from Casefy. I love it. I am actually gonna get a new phone soon. I'm due for an upgrade, so I'm excited to purchase a new one for that. But Casefy is great because although they are super cute, they are also drop protected. Their impact cases actually are made with an EcoShock technology. So when you drop your phone, your phone is protected from drops of up to 8.2 feet. And I drop this thing all the time, so I can confirm it is true. You can customize phone cases. My friend Melissa actually just did a phone case with a bunch of different photos. It looks so cute. I've always wanted to do one of those but you can also do your initials they have a bunch of different patterns i'm really into like the whimsical designs right now i have a few different cases that just have floral designs mushrooms i might put that one on my phone too and you can really pick the perfect phone case if you're getting it as a gift too because they have so many different options and they don't just have phone cases too they also have these super cute phone straps they have a bunch of really neutral ones too this one's just cute and colorful that you can put on your phone they also have different tech accessories like airpods cases laptop cases they have pretty much all that that you need. Case Defy's iPhone 14 cases are made from 65% recycled plant-based material and they are partially from upcycled phone cases as a part of their Recase Defy program. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Case Defy. I will have them linked down below. Again, you can visit casedefy.com slash Michelle Reed to get 15% off a new phone case or tech accessory. And again, great gift idea. Definitely wanted to mention that here. Just got a couple hours of editing done, which feels nice. And I'm gonna take a little break to make this banana bread. The recipe that I'm using, I will link it down below. It's actually an Instagram reel. I will put her page right here. But essentially it's like normal banana bread, which I'm gonna try to ripen my bananas in the oven. I've never done that before, but we'll see how that works. And you essentially just add in some grape jelly and then also some peanuts. And she had kind of this glaze on top too with the jelly. So we're gonna attempt it. I'm a little nervous, but it looks good in her videos.
change into some comfy clothes and I'm gonna go ahead and make some dinner. I feel like it's been a big kitchen day. I've been doing lots of the kitchen. I'm making this recipe from Half Baked Harvest. It is a sticky pomegranate chicken recipe and I'm gonna do it with coconut rice and then I'll probably do a side salad too. So these are some of my favorites. I love her sticky chicken recipes. This recipe also calls for acorn squash, which I've never cooked with. I'm a little nervous and also intrigued at the same time. I don't even know if I'm supposed to cut off the skin, so. mask right now this one is from Tula it's their self-care Sunday nourishing face mask my skin has been so dry lately and this is nice because you just put it on for 10 minutes and then you just kind of rinse it off with a warm towel that's like kind of damp and it definitely moisturizes a bit so I'm doing that we just went for an evening walk and it was so peaceful outside we usually don't walk when it's completely dark but now that it's daylight savings it's just obviously darker when we walk and it was so nice very calm and I'm so tired it's 9 30 right now but I'm so sore for my workouts lately I'm ready to rest and get a little massage and <laughs> head to bed just have to say that I am loving the Christmas sheets it is definitely a vibe going to sleep with these they are pretty warm because they are flannel so we just keep the apartment pretty cool in the evening but it's definitely a mood boost sleeping with the Christmas sheets Gwena, Gwena. good boy Hello, hello, it's the next day right now. It is actually 12 o'clock right now and I have spent the past four hours grinding on a video, which is totally my ideal day. I love the days where I'm just at home editing videos because putting together videos is definitely, I would say my second favorite part about doing this. The first would definitely be connecting with people and meeting people in real life. But I actually wanted to share a little bit about how I actually make my videos. I get a few questions here and there about editing, about how I find the music for my videos. And by no means do I think I'm an expert. There are so many talented people on YouTube who just make such beautiful videos, but it is something over the past 10 years that I've been doing this. I just think it's so much fun. I love creating a vibe with my videos. And I think especially over the last year, I've been trying to be more intentional about the music that I pick, the shots that I get and just make them very warm and vibrant. And I always wanna make them somewhat inspiring to watch too. And I think that there are a lot of different components that go into editing, which is why it takes so long, but it's so worth it for me creating these videos. And so I wanted to share, of course, you can always skip over this section too. I know this is kind of for a niche audience who's into this. And so you can just skip. I try to timestamp all my videos. I've missed a few recently, but you can just skip over this. For editing my videos, I use Final Cut Pro. I love Final Cut Pro. I feel like it's just the perfect amount of difficulty. I know Adobe Premiere is probably a little bit more complex, but I love that Final Cut has everything I pretty much need in terms of color grading, music, transition, stabilization those things it just has everything and for color grading specifically i actually like to find different overlays on etsy that's how i color grade i will search for like i have a pack that's bright and airy i like to use that more so in the spring the summer and also more during christmas time because it's just bright and a little bit more vibrant and then in the fall time i really like to use i have a set that's called I think it's like honey or something, but it's a little bit more muted, a little more warm toned. I really like that. And so I would just search on Etsy too, if you're interested. I think technically the final cut term is a custom LUT. And so you can just apply that on all your editing clips, but that is kind of how I like to do the coloring. And as far as music goes, I love finding good music because if you're trying to monetize your content, like most people are on YouTube, you do have to find royalty free music. And that I will say used to be very tricky and until I found Epidemic Sound. I've been using them over the last two or three years, I think. 
they have such great music that sounds like music i would actually listen to in real life which is honestly a game changer i think it's 50 dollars a month to get unlimited music that you can also license depending on the platform you're using so i'll have that link down below i actually think i have a referral link too i've never shared it so i don't know if it gets you money off but i'll have that link down below and i try to pick music depending on the vibe of the video i would say some of the genres i like to stick to would be solo piano i love that for more calming vibes i love solo guitar too especially in the fall time solo guitar folk acoustic acoustic group i try to stick to those and they just feel kind of cozy and specifically for acoustic my favorite artist on there is kylie daly her music is so good i will insert a clip right here with some songs that you probably recognize because i use them all the time in my videos Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors yeah, anytime she comes out with a new song, I use it right away because I love her music. She's so talented. And I also like the genres of Motown, 1960s pop, 1950s pop. Those are kind of more fun. I like to use those for time lapses too. And generally the longer amount of clips I have, the more I try to use like vocal music or if I'm trying to keep it simple, I will not do vocals. And you can search on Epidemic Sound if you want music with lyrics, music without lyrics. And I try to switch up my music quite often. I find for me as a viewer, I love like when the music's different. I don't like listening to the same songs over and over again. I will do it if I really like the creator. In terms of finding a new person to watch, it always makes me more captivated when the music really fits. So that's been something I have tried to do over the past bit. And then for my thumbnails, I just use PicMonkey. It is basic. It is not Photoshop. It's simple. Thumbnails are definitely my least favorite part about editing because they're so important for grabbing your viewers attention especially if you're trying to reach new viewers but at the same time i'm just not a visual person it's why i don't post a ton on instagram i'm very much a video person and so photos are just more difficult for me but picmonkey kind of has everything that i need on there and then as far as camera equipment actually goes i use a couple of different cameras so the one that i'm recording on right now is the canon m50 I think it's great for vlogging. It has a flip out screen, which is nice. And then I have a Rode microphone on top. I love this camera. I think it does such a great job. It's still compact. Yeah, I just think it's a great camera. I've used this one, I think over the past couple years or so. And then this guy I showed in a recent vlog. This was a new purchase I made this year, but I've had a version of this camera before. This is the Canon 80D. This is a beautiful camera. I have the Sigma 30 millimeter lens. And I think the Sigma lens is really the thing that makes these clips pop because this just has much more dreamy. It has a really soft focus. If I'm doing more routine videos, I'd like to do this, or I just did my Christmas decorating video. I use this a lot. I'm trying to use this more though, because I definitely think that this just elevates the content. If I'm cooking, sometimes I will use this and it's a heavy duty camera. So I really like this. Obviously it takes beautiful photos too, but I use it mostly for videos. And yeah, I will have all of that equipment linked on my Amazon storefront too. If you're ever interested, I try to update that with stuff that I use. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really use a lot for my videos. Not really. Yeah, it's a ton of fun though. If you're wanting to start, I would highly recommend. I feel like I should do an updated whole video on this information instead of just putting it in a vlog because I haven't done one of those in a while. And it's interesting because I do think that content now is a lot more natural and less highly produced than it used to be. But since getting this camera, it has definitely kind of inspired me to focus more on storytelling and just put a little bit more effort into my videos. And I hope that that has shown because it's been so much fun for me. And it's been a big reason why I've been enjoying doing this so much more lately. And I could spend hours and hours and hours working because I love putting together these videos. But I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of a break. I do have a few more things that I wanna do. I actually wanna edit an Instagram reel too, which I also sometimes get questions about. And those I also edit on my laptop. I just use Final Cut Pro to edit those. It's easier than editing in the app for me. So I'm gonna work on that. I also took some photos too on here and I wanna link some affiliate links too for products that I'm sharing. So there's always something to do, which is so much fun for this job, but sometimes it can be hard to take a break. So I'm forcing myself to take a break. And I think Aiden's actually coming home early today. He's in the office, but tomorrow's Veterans Day. So it's nice he gets off. And I think that they're letting them leave early, which is super nice and will be great to have him home too. Finish up my work and now 
I got this Rent the Runway package in the mail. I work with them over on Instagram. And as you guys know, I do Newly, which I love, but Rent the Runway is very much more elevated. They have very just classy styles. And I ordered this dress in here that's like a black tie wedding dress, which I do not have any intention of going to a black tie wedding, but I'm trying to share how you can style a bunch of different occasions from one Rent the Runway order. And so I wanna see what this looks like. I'm so excited for this order. I ordered such fun holiday pieces. I'm trying to do like a Christmas party look, a winter wedding look, a New Year's Eve look. And so I got some funky pieces. I'm gonna show you guys them. Okay, wow. First item is this jacket. How fun is this? Hey, not for you. Oh my goodness. Cash has to inspect everything, sit, hey. Sit. You must be gentle. So cute. I love that. This one is adorable. This is from Madewell, I think, but I thought this, this would be cute with tights and boots for like a casual look to style. Okay, this is one of the fun ones. Ooh, fun. Look at this jumpsuit. Look at those sparkles. Wow. That is so fun. Yeah, I need an occasion to wear this. That was my New Year's Eve look. You'll have to follow me on Instagram to see how I end up styling these. Ooh, this is so beautiful. I love this color. You got a bright fuchsia. Look at this gorgeous dress. It has these gold chain straps. I thought this one for like a Christmas party look would be so cute. Got a cute mini skirt. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Look at this dress. This is what I wish I had an occasion to wear this to this weekend because how fabulous is this? It's like playing dress up getting rent the runway, but those are my pieces. I'm so excited to style those. Those are all such lovely items. For the rest of the evening, we are going to an F45 workout, which I wanted to mention. If you guys have been along here for my journey on balancing my hormones, I'm currently trying not to do the F45 cardio classes because HIIT workouts, according to my doctor that I visited, are just not really the best for hormonal health. It's much better to do not even necessarily lower intensity stuff. And don't listen to me, I'm not a doctor. This is what she told me for me specifically. With any medical stuff I talk about when it comes to this stuff, I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my own experience. For just balancing your cortisol levels and all that, the really high intensity workouts from stop to go, stop to go, stop to go are not the best. And so we have just been going to the strength days. That's why lately it's just been strength workouts. And if I do cardio lately, I've just been doing like steady running that has been my jam so that's kind of the current workout routine i've really been liking it we will sometimes go to the saturday workouts at f45 because those are a hybrid of strength and cardio and i just kind of try to tone it down on the burpees and stuff like that i just try to be more gentle and modified and then i think we're going to go on a little date night we're going to go to our favorite restaurant which is the honor bar in highland park because aiden has off tomorrow so we're going to treat it like a friday night workout was great it was an upper body day which felt good to lift some weights and now i just quickly got ready i just threw my hair back because it's a little bit greasy from the workout took a quick shower but kept my makeup on i also got my hair cut probably a week or so ago and i love when these front pieces are so fresh because i just think they're so nice for pulling out my dress that i'm wearing you can't really tell but it's from lulu's it's just a bodycon dress, but I like how the sleeves kind of go out too. Before we go though, I'm going to make a little vein because I think I'm going to make some sourdough tomorrow. And I want to start the process since I'll be home for a little bit, probably finishing up a video. I always like to time my sourdough when I have an editing day because I feel like it's easier to make some bread. But we got to make this tonight. I'll link the recipe I've been following lately. I haven't actually made bread in probably a few weeks or so, so I'm excited to get back in it. I did just get that loaf from Whole Foods, but it's already halfway gone, so I feel like by the time two days goes by when the bread's done, we'll be ready for some more.
Happy Friday. I just spent the morning getting all my work done before the weekend. And so I feel like a free bird now because it's 2.45 and I am headed to the mall because I'm getting something for my friend Carissa. Her birthday isn't until December, but next weekend, me, Melissa, and Carissa are having a girls weekend to kind of celebrate her birthday because we're going to be going to the What We Said live show. They're doing one in Dallas and I am so, so pumped. Let me know if you're coming too. I really hope some of you guys are coming too. We're gonna do a night at a hotel. We're gonna paint pottery and I just cannot wait. I'm so excited. She's in Austin, so it'll be fun that she'll be in Dallas and I wanted to grab something for her. And she is such a fun person to shop for because I know Krissa watches the vlogs too. So Krissa, you need to skip over this section. I probably won't show her a gift, but she loves colors. She's just a very fun spirited person. And I feel like people like that are so fun to shop for. Usually I have a hard time figuring out gifts for people, but she's just someone who I, I know what she likes. Yeah, it's actually 45 degrees today. I'm feeling very cozy. I threw on a beanie. And then this is just my Cuts Sherpa jacket that I always wear. I really like it. Also having a little no makeup day because I feel like I haven't done that in a while. And we're just gonna have ourselves today. I also picked up a decaf Christmas cup coffee, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't love. I just love ice drinks. I purely wanted to get this for the cup. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head in, see what we can find here. It's a few days later. I never properly ended off this vlog, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. I will also have Casefy linked down below too. You can go to casefy.com slash Michelle Reed to get 15% off a new phone case and you can also check out their sale right now. Appreciate you guys so much and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye friends.